Did you watch the fight, Sandy? I didn't. I forget where I Did was. Did you rewatch that uh, Volk fight? Mm -hmm. Thoughts? It's close. Very Still close. close. Yeah, not a robbery. We were, we were buying. Did I go robbery. to a decision? Yeah, I went to a decision. Um, you know, because Volkanovski is the one forty-five pound champion, pound for pound number one, went up to fight Makachev, who's 155, walks around about 180. Oof. I still would list Volkanovski as the number one pound for pound. Because I, even I, though he lost I that fight, the, the pound for pound in your criteria, <clears throat> if we're going to debate it, um, is what's your criteria for pound for pound? But it's all hypothetical. But if Volkanovski was the exact same size as Makachev, straight up skill set, who, who wins? Volkanovski. There you go. There are some 100%. people getting choked out on that card. Triangle, rear naked, yeah, rear yeah. naked. It was a great naked. card. Now, because we we did a fight campaign with Rogan, you know, we're drinking. And yeah. I was on shrooms. You know, who knows what's happened. And I kept saying robbery, which is very rare for me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like robbery. Did robbers. you say robbery? I never heard you say oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I said some wild shit. Yeah. And then yeah we were talking about China. I said, why don't they have USADA? And D Joe was like, because it's the United States. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I just meant they need testing. Yeah. Quit being so technical. Right? But you, it's tough because I never take too much what we say on that show because we're drunk or high or whatever. But going back on it, we, that's the first campaign we actually watched the fights. I was like, I can see how we came to that conclusion. Definitely not robbery. I get the argument for Makhchev. It's all how you score. The, four, the fourth round is the deciding factor. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. fourth round. Yes. For sure. Because yes. you give three and five Volkanovski all day. The fifth. Three and five. Yeah. The, the fifth, yeah. there's argument for 10-8. Uh, because now, you got knocked down. Knocked down, the, yeah, yeah, yeah not, the most significant damage done in the fight. So the fifth round, you could give 10-8. I probably wouldn't, but you could. But that that uh, the the online uh, judging system mm -hmm. that's highly regarded, a lot of sites use, have Volkanovski win that fight. Wow. Yes, but wow. most I would say most people like experts in the field give it to Makachev. Yeah, except for me. By a nose hair. Oh, he, but either, there's no robbery. Is it possible I can't believe that Makachev had a really high. hard time sucking that weight, and then they fought in the morning? No, you know now you know what's going around now. What? Makachev illegally got an IV before the fight. Oh. Rumors. R we're, we're not now, sure. now there's rumors, and there's also you know allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. Yeah, that's Dan allegedly. Hooker goes. You think you, and Dan Hooker tweeted this out. Who we love the Hangman. He goes. You think you could come to Australia get an IV before the fight, and we wouldn't find out about it? Cheater. And was like, who are you talking about? And he's like, Makachev got an IV before the fight. Wow. That's the rumor. I, f I feel like they should allow IVs. That's what I said, but it doesn't matter. We believe they should. That It's against the rules. Yeah. And another guy gets spent two years for using IV. So this, I didn't know if that. the UFC, Fucking yeah, two, two years. years. So if the UFC looks into this, it could get dicey. But hmm. Bilal Muhammad said it best. He goes, uh, you know, once, well, I forget what it is, like that once the hate doesn't work, they start telling lies. And that could be what's going on with Makachev there. Like, obviously he won. Obviously yeah. Australians are mad. Obviously a yeah. lot of the public's upset. So then you go, great fight. well, you got an IV, right? It's a like, great like, fight. Well, it's here's a, this. That, that was a great fight. And, Classic. And if it had gone either way, it's fine. I mean, no it, one got robbed. Great fight. No, great fight. And, and uh, um, Volkanovski's made of different stuff. He's made of different stuff. He's just... What's well, interesting, name a guy athlete. who lost a fight who's got, now he has more, he's more beloved than before. He's never, he never got appreciated before. Because this, now everybody Because loves everyone him. thought there's no way to solve that Dagestani wrestling, et cetera, et cetera. Khabib 2.0, and it's like fucking. Ain't nobody beating him at 45. Mm, Your boy Yair, not a peep. That's gonna, that's, 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 peep. that's the bet we're gonna take. And again, for sure. I, I, I'm no gonna one do it up. for fun. After him doing that to Makchev, 145 was like, ah, oh, shit. Uh, but Yair, Yair's the not one guy that could. Not a peep. You don't Not think so? No, no, no. How would Yair do against Makachev? Uh, he's a little too small for Makachev. Mm. A little too small for Makachev. Now, he's taller than Volkanovski. He's taller than Volkanovski. I would say his striking is very, very difficult to plan for, and he seems to have a high fight IQ. He seems to know. Here's what I worry about. When he comes, when he comes in close with a knee or when he's throwing or whatever, he, he gets hit. Emmett hit him, right? Yeah. So he's going to catch him. shots. Yeah. And he also got taken down. Now, he was great off his back. But Volkanovski, again, is different a different animal. animal all the way around. There ain't no 45 beaten. You don't think Yair beats him? Not, not a chance. Not a chance. After that? Wow. After that? Not wow. a chance. Now, I was super excited after Yair won that fight. I'm like, holy shit, this is going to be sick. And after watching Volkanovski, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, but, 45, you know, fuck. But again, uh, who was it who, was it uh, Max Holloway who gave Volkanovski fits? It was a great fight. Did he? It could have gone three times. Could have been gone either way. Sure. Was it, Did was you it see the last Max? fight? Did you see the last I didn't fight? See the la yeah, I did. Volkanovski dominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so what are you talking about? He just gets better and better. Yeah. He gets better and better. And then he just controversially lost him Mark Jeff. It's unbelievable. He walks around what? 180? 190? 190 even? 195 maybe? And you're gonna beat him at 45? Yeah. Now talk about special forces. <laughs> what happened with uh Randy Brown? How did he how'd that guy get on his back so quick? Uh, that Jack Della, Jack, he's like the next big thing at welterweight. He's from Perth. That's his hometown. Randy Brown, 6'3". So I think people were like, oh, Jack finally, because he's undefeated in the UFC, four finishes, came off Dana White Contender Series. But he's like the next big prospect. And he, it wasn't that he was struggling. He was just taking his time. People were like, oh, he's having issues with the, the reach and the length of Randy Brown. Randy Brown's doing pretty good. And then Jack just patiently waited, got him against the cage, whap, right hook, drops him to his face, gets his back. The and, kids and he, and he, you'll, you'll appreciate this because he, he, he's been doing jujitsu a lot for the past two years. You have? Like four and a half years you, now. You look so much four better than last time I saw you. Not that you look bad 